McJuggies, it's your old pal McJugger Nuggets here. And welcome to my brand new house where I can park my gosh dang pink car on my very own front yard like I'm a freaking clout member. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring you guys inside. Come with me, Juggies. I'm gonna take you into the new home of Rigid Studios. My dad can't yell at me for that. Let's go on inside. Now, I know you guys have seen the house before. However, I've been moved in for a few days now. As you can see, I'm starting to uh, get some of my little knickknacks, trophies, you, what have you, all moved into the place. So yeah, I'm uh, feeling a lot better since the accident. And mostly everything of mine has been moved into the new house. I seriously could not be more excited, guys. Uh, as well as, guys, the channel is blowing up right now. So drop the subscribe. I really appreciate the support. We've been gaining, like, over 4,000 subscribers a day. I can't believe it's happening. But you guys are the best. Let's sit down and let's catch up with what's been going on in my life. All right. The new setup. Let's get comfortable, guys. I can yell as loud as I want and nobody will yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me open up some light here with, the, with these big windows. Guys, I'm so excited. All right, that's a lot better, guys. I'm still getting my feet wet in this whole home ownership thing. So yeah, guys, uh, I hope you stick around for this full video. This is probably one of the most important videos we've ever done on the McJuggernaut's YouTube channel. This is the end of an era. I have officially moved out of my family's house, which feels completely bizarre to say that. And yeah, um, my head's feeling a lot better, my shoulder's good, and my, my knee's the only thing still bothering me from the crash. But it's actually been a few weeks since that time. It's also been like a week since the whole ice cream parlor incident. The timeline's been all over the place, but uh, this video actually catches you guys up to speed in my life, and I'm extremely excited to say, Twitch live streaming is coming back, guys. I'll finally be able to live stream because I have a place that I live that has internet. Also, download Storyfire. Those links are in the description, guys, iOS and Android. We have some exciting updates to come and I please 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 stick around to the end of this video for a very very big announcement So yeah guys, uh, it feels good to vlog. It's been a while a lot of a lot of things have been happening in my life with this whole move-in process But uh, this video is gonna catch you up to speed with what happened uh, closing on the house with Lisa and the realtors and actually showing my dad the house and What happened at the end? Hope you guys enjoy This video is spot on, I'm just kidding guys. I'm gonna be a homeowner by the, uh, probably within the next hour. So super exciting guys. Also just wanna say we're growing so fast. I don't know what's happening. I must have did to like use some magic beans. What is this? We're I stuck behind the, a Pepsi truck. I think you're just supposed to go around it, Jess, is when the no car comes. Is the universe trying to tell me something? Oh you know my goodness. Bro, <laughs> bro. Okay. okay, nobody's in front. All right, we're, dude. We're dude, I just got into an accident. It's not funny, but hey. You're vlogging, not me. See, dude, if it wasn't a freaking two-seater, you could have been filming the whole time. Yeah. That was the mistake. Cars need to be four seats. This is weird. It's weird. Um, doesn't get any more weird than your father having an ice cream parlor in your bedroom. But, hey, sometimes the universe and life gets a little strange. 61 degrees outside. Jeffrey's supposed to be meeting us here. I don't know, maybe he stopped to get a freaking ice cream car. Hello! Hi! Hi, you ready to buy a house? I'm so ready. Awesome. My brother's supposed to be meeting us here. Are you out here? Yeah. Okay. Where's, uh... Karen's in the back. Where's Princess Fiona? Hello. Lisa's not Are here. Are you ready? Hello. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so ready. What's up? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you feeling? Long time no see. Yeah, you're hey. right, right? Hey, hey what's up, Karen? Hey. I remember when I lived here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't you miss it? Yeah. We miss you, Liv. We missed you. Yeah, I miss you guys too. See, they missed me, man. Where's uh, <laughs> she sure did. Where's Lord Farquaad? She should be here any second. She's is she called. coming here or is she down the title company? No, she said she's coming here. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. That's good. What What are you thinking? Are you excited? Yeah, I guess. How's your head? Good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been trying. I've been worried, like, I'm because I had a concussion years ago, so I'm trying not to. I don't want to get the same like yeah. symptoms right. and everything. You get a lot of headaches? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. But. That's a shame. Sorry to hear about all that. How well, you that's mean? what I get, I guess, right? My knee? How's My knee is all right. It's not, but it's all right. I'm a man! <laughs> Toughen up! <laughs> <laughs> Toughen up. <laughs> Holy crap! 
What? In fact, you've only been gone for a little while and you're still tripping over the same That's spot. That's why they say to watch it. I trip <laughs> over something at least once a day. Yeah, we found this site. I figured it was yours. It was know. upstairs. It was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Floor. That was. If that was up there, yeah. Yeah. You guys kind of looked a little bit of a mess. Did we do that? <laughs> and you left that, you left that bookcase. It was freezing up there. It was like open a little bit. I've never the been The bookcase was open? Yeah. Wait, what? What do you mean? Yeah. Like, it was kind of like open and you could see out into the room behind it and it was freezing cold. And Wait, what? That opens up? Yeah. That's crazy. That? Oh my That's god. That's news to- Oh! Oh, oh here it's, we go! It's the big day! Here we go. What happened to your head, honey? It was the, the axe car accident. I don't know if you followed me on- I every, did! I, oh my yeah. gosh! I posted to Facebook, but- Oh my gosh, what were you- oh, I told you. Uh, what did I tell what? you? What did I tell you? Stay away? Didn't I tell you stay away? Oh, from didn't Lance? I tell, didn't I tell you that? He's away now, and he's not talking to me, so- Oh, that's a shame. I'm so sorry for you. Oh my- That's I the best too, thing that Lisa. can happen. My brother is on his way, so- Thank you, because we need him. Or is this really happening? This is for him. We oh, need him. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we need him. Okay. Otherwise, we can't do anything. I'm, I'm so I'm... sorry about your head. Hey, oh hey, my hey, gosh. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I know you want to. <laughs> 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 Dude, I'm so sorry. Even though you aggravate me, I'm so sorry. Well, you saw how it happened? I was. I saw the car upside <laughs> down. I'm like, what the heck? The state troopers out there? What yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. pretty bad. I'm I lucky. Honestly. I knew. I knew. I told. I had a feeling, and that's you why knew I that said, was gonna happen. I knew something was gonna happen. That's why I said, "Stay far away." I had so I many right. messages from your fans. Yeah. They wanted me to take care of you, and asked if I went to the hospital to see oh. you. I'm I like a nurse. The sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> but I assured them that you were in good hands. Yep. There's always better hands. <laughs> Swift. Nah. Oh, you put on me that first. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Look at this dude literally vlogging, sitting in the. Literally, this I got my freaking accent. Right, I'm not driving. I'm parked though. You got ice cream and Jimmy's in your beard, dude. Not really. Yeah. Bro, we're going to the title agency. All right, All right. that's right down the street, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got like checks and stuff. I'm prepared. Are you prepared? I don't need to do anything, right? Or I'm just signing stuff, I thought. Alright. Don't fine. vlog and drive, dude. I'm not driving, I'm parked. I'm about to get hit by a car. Guys, this is super legit. I'm pooping myself. <laughs> hello there. Hi, Jesse. I'm Mike Park. Mike. Nice to meet you. Yeah, hello there. Hi. Oh my gosh. What's up? Oh my god. Cool. Yeah, totally you totally do like it's a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. You're not not that I know. You're not divorcing a hey. You're the borrower. Hi, Jesse. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. 360. Block and Lobs is being sold down here. It says when it was conveyed to you when you bought it. Okay. So I'm just a guarantor over here. All right. Closing to so form state my red tax there is a thing in Jersey and it is your primary residence mm -hmm. you're selling. So I need Final number. So I gotta sign signatures down yeah. there. You have to sign. What do I feel like there's some slimy way of like just sign it's something bad happens? I wouldn't do that to you. Just sign like Are you witnessing this? That's how the deal yeah, I'm recording here. it. Karen, is this safe? Yeah, here, I'll come. It's so yeah. better if I come sit with you. Yeah, because Jeffrey does like weird things. So. I do not do yeah, weird things. I do. Blue ink, like Closing things. disclosure. <laughs> no, you like to use That's that. That's your final just number. What you need to yeah, yeah, You have that? Mm hmm. Dude, that's like 50 not, not so much Okay. Here's all the breakdown. This is a legal description. Meets and bounds. How does he have that? It's like $50,000. That's just going to go to you? It's going to go to Michael? Bro, Bro, what? Back page of the deed, which requires both of your signatures. Wait, unreal. Hang out, it's full of it this whole time. Did you act like you had nothing anyway? All right, am I signing I'm this? Humble. I'm just looking to... at it. No, you're not just looking at it. You're gonna sign. You say yeah, you're I signed like uh, you're the only owners. Of the I property. signed a bunch of documents so that from my dad that are not. Said date. Good. No improvements the last four really? months. So I'm just saying huge addition or anything. Trust your brother. You have a good brother. You guys are married to each other. You're married on. No, don't, don't put that down. Oh. You hold that. Yeah, you get, you're, you're not done. Sign, buddy. Listen, you're this not done. This old stern? Oh, absolutely. Every single time. Uh, I'm, like I'm sorry. Promissory note? <clears throat> Promising to pay back the mortgage? 
Yeah. We charge four hundred dollars for else. settlement fees. The buyer seller should be responsible take for that. The, the mortgage company Continue will take on. the this house transfer back tax, to kick you out. There's property transfer in the state of New Jersey. You don't want that. You're going to pay, right? Based on the sale price. If you pay, you stay. These are the two yes. yes. commissions. Pay, you stay. Okay, so this is like that's legally binding. Right. You're legally binding. You're going to sign. And then that's for the initial, just initial. Okay, so I subtract the two. I have a lot of kids audience, so I'm used to signing well, for you to see it. They really like to see a sloppy signature. Oh, it makes them you feel better. Stating that commission. you are going to pay back the mortgage mm -hmm. in the terms yeah, every month. Me. Me. You. Mm -hmm. so you will sign. What? I have to make sure that you keep those payments this in mind. And you're paying. He'll be on the line you're, for it. If, I, if you don't pay, I have to pay. Yeah. So if he doesn't pay, then you're both in trouble. Or you don't pay. He has to pay. If he doesn't pay, then you definitely lose that. I'm gonna crack the whip. Ooh, he's got you now. I feel like I'm like just getting yeah. like every, every every page. Yeah, page don't stop. Out. So much going on right now. I'm like my Should mind. spinning? Yeah. I don't even know what this reads. So. You're not reading it, huh? You're not reading it. No. You know why? Because from, your, your, from your accident. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. You won't comprehend this speech, Anna. You're one of those people that don't read the Apple terms of use, too, are you? I don't want to see that they listen to me. What the hell is the tax thing? It's the taxes. That's as much as the other thing is. I don't know what to tell you. That's what they are. I don't make them up. I'm paying just for nothing? Mm-hmm. What the hell's that? You get to do whatever you want on the property. That's what you're paying every month for. You're paying for your freedom. You're paying to do what not you every, want there. Not everything you want to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a ripoff, but okay. Everyone loves New Jersey, Jersey taxes. taxes. Welcome to living. Isn't that the you pay to live. Thing? Adulting. 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 You don't like to adult? You have to adult. You don't like to adult? No. I don't want to be either. an adult either, but no. We have to. It's not as fun. We have to. We have to. You have to. Join us. All right, so this is the last form we have to sign, the affidavit of title for Michael. And then I need you to get your driver's license out. Okay. Because Michael needs a copy of it. The real one. Yeah, Give don't. Me my real one. Just, yeah, no. Mm, just one you want. No, just. I want the right one. Just one. You want that one? Yeah. Put that away. I think they're the same. Put that away. That the same person? Is that you? Yeah. Uh, hair looks better than this one. You like <laughs> the long hair? Yeah. He likes the long hair! Jay, he's got some likes for the long hair. I mean, I was getting a lot of stuff for people. I was saying I have two licenses. Professional too. Huh? Yeah, oh yeah. Professional I got my uh, maroon hoodie on. Professional too. Remember <laughs> I told you? Perfect. Yeah. 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 That's all I want. Like my mother. Actually, all right, so I'm going to take everything you signed. It's going to be in this envelope. Okay. Okay. That's it. And that's it. And then you are done on my end. Okay, cool. So here is the final deed to the property. Wow. It's yours. Uh, we oh. send the original for recording. Once the original is recorded, it comes back to us, and then you'll get the uh, final original. So from here, they're going to hand you the keys and we're done. That's it? That's, that's it. it. Yeah. We're done. We're done. Wow. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll give you a hug when we get Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Cool. Congratulations. Yeah. All yours. You can figure them out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are these all to the house? Or? The house, the garage. Yep. You got it. All right. Well, well I got these. Are you these. actually giving him a key? Ford, Ford was in our battle I mean, royale. It helps us. Guys, we're gonna with the house. Oh, you guys look great. Got you guys a whole bundle. Wow. Oh, wow. We the studios yeah. room, chamber. I got it. Nice. Stuff. If you guys ever want more, you go to rigidstudios.com or mcjargonuggets.com. Yeah. Nice, good plug. Yeah, good plug. Gotta plus. give you guys a hug. Thank you guys. Thanks, this is Jeff. our first house. It's crazy. Good luck. Thank Don't you. break anything. Yeah. Don't put any holes in walls. You never know. I'll be coming back. Thanks, Fine. sir. Appreciate it. Like, I wouldn't watch any videos from here on out. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Jeff. Lisa. Pleasure doing Thank business Thank you so much for rescuing everybody. Uh, yeah. I mean, hey. Uh, Thanks, Lisa. I'm we proud made it. of you. Oh. Thank you very much. So Appreciate it. I didn't we think we'd it. get here to oh have. Oh my gosh! Oh my the truth comes have you, out. Now. Have you called your father and let him know that you were going to go closing? Uh, you guys were going to go to closing tonight. Yeah, we uh, we we got ice cream together. <gasps> Is that right? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so. Oh my gosh! I'm so proud of you. I'm yeah. so I know. It's it's we're good. So you're talking? We yeah we had ice cream cones and. And everything and it was peaceful and good, right? Yeah. 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 Good. yeah. yeah. We're yeah. We gotta get on the stick. 
You get on the stick. Right, right. Stick. You gotta make some money. You gotta make some money. Yep. Get on the stick. What's going on here? Right. Yeah. Let's have a conversation. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know what they're doing, but also, also having a conversation. I don't know if I like that right there. <laughs> Watch <laughs> yourself, bro. Bro code. <laughs> it's a grill. What's, what's the garage code though? Alright, well, I'm getting it. No keys here. Keys. Do you know what those are? Why would Karen do? Karen wants a key to the house? Oh. Thanks for uh. Oh, that was so nice. Yeah. See, that makes me not want to ever do that again. You guys should hug too. Yeah. While it's on yeah, camera. You should. Oh, you should. He saved you. There we go. There you go. Oh. There you go. Saved you, Jess. To a, a life of property taxes and mortgage payments shared between brothers. It's a beautiful sight. New Jersey. Juggies, that's, uh, that's apparently it. We just walked you guys through the entire home buying process. <laughs> like, what? I don't think that's been done before on YouTube, guys. It was quite an adventure. It, yeah. it was. It was for me. One that I am not planning on partaking ever again. Unless I miss Lisa too much. Um, so wait, does this mean we're not going to see her? Good. We'll see her. We'll have a big banger at some point. Yeah, okay. yeah. We'll have a big party. Like at the end of I can't wait. At the end of Shrek. At the end of Shrek, they have a big party and it's just like they have karaoke. Listen, so. maybe in your new studio that you're gonna make, Ooh. we can have a Shrek viewing. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Somebody once told me. Hey. The world is gonna roll. Oh. I can't. I ate the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> This is a really bizarre feeling, dude. You have a house. This is my house? Bro, this is really weird. We were just here doing the battle royale and everybody was living here. Ford, Dude, Audrey. is this real? I'll be honest. I still remember when we first came here doing our house hunting stuff with Lisa, and I remember I was dead set on that cabin, bro, and running deer. I was like, that is the house, because it was so lit, and it was like Psycho Kid and everything. Then we came to this house, and I was miserable. I was like, this looks like my freaking dad's house, but go figure, man. Dude, this is our house. Bro, I literally, I have Whoa. the key right here. I hear something in the woods. Yeah, the squirrels, man. We're in nature. On my six acres. It's so peaceful, bro. Does he hear the birds? Feel a light breeze coming in here as the sun sets. I'm not gonna lie, I, I actually miss the, uh, the kids, Ford and Audrey. They seem pretty cool, man. Yeah, the house seems like it needs to be refilled with life my friend that's gonna be our our mission but i'll tell you this juggies i feel a lot of things right now i finally did it finally moved out my dad's house got my own place and uh i'm trying to process it right now it probably won't till I've been living in here for a week or so. But the feeling I have right now is uh, completely strange and new. And it's kind of cool. <laughs> Ow, my knee. Ah. All right. I couldn't resist. No way. Turns out there's like the garage key. All right, what the? F Dude, I have like 10 keys in my pocket. Oh, there it is. Bro. They left the washer and dryer. The in-law sweet. Everything. Dude! It's all here! Dude, this is our house! This is our freaking house! Yes! Holy crap, dude! All this! They left all this! All of this stuff. Oh my gosh. Bro. You even got another TV. Bro. Oh my God. Dude. Walking around here now is a completely different experience. Because I can do whatever the f I want, dude. 
It's Jeffrey. Is it? Guys, we just got done filming Larry's Lounge Cast. We're not filming, but recording, guys. You can find that at Podbean, Spotify, or iTunes. Um, we're three episodes in right now. It's really, but I told them to let's go to the new house. Is this exciting or what? Uh, I mean, it's, other stuff. it's completely bizarre. Not it's completely bizarre. Hey, like, oh wow, I got. I, mean, I just walked in there, but like when I first pulled in, I'm like, this is a really weird feeling. Yeah, it was kind of weird just pulling in right now because it's like, now it's just not somebody else's house. Now is it, it's your house. You feel the vibe change, right? And JT's house, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, uh, did you turn the lights on inside? No, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Swift's got some chores to do, don't he? Yeah, you pressure wash on the side, dude. There's some grime on the side of these house, man. And, and hey, Larry, when are you coming to pressure see that wash? that stuff over there in the valley on the roof there? Yeah, That yeah. needs to be swept off of there. You heard that, Swift? Yeah. Larry, when are you coming over to help do the chores? He's still on medical leave. Yeah. That's you, dude. That's you, dude. I no longer need a gaming room in the Morton building. I can just have my own gaming room in my own house. There's a screen door right there. What? What? I always wanted a screen door. I, now you have one. Look how much stuff that they, this that, is huge. that you don't have to get, dude. Like, Raw yeah. Gas yeah. cans. Propane. Propane tanks, that's huge. Water? Who doesn't need water? Parks. Christmas tree stands. Bro! Oh, are we playing deck ball? Flintstone bat. Uh, bam! Bam! We're trying to figure out what exactly is this contraption over here. Right? Breaking Bad, uh, Walter White, he makes stuff. Oh shoot. And this is one of those yeah. tools to I mean, like, like, like what's going on here? James, we're raiding the house right now. Is even though it's our favorite color? <gasps> oh my god, it's meant to be! But guys, we're realizing, dude, it's stock full! Everything's in here! Dude, Jeffrey, this is insane. Like, literally, everything's in here, fully stocked with utensils. It's literally like, I don't even have to do anything. Not that I, like, I wouldn't have done anything. So thank God somebody did it for me. When my dad sees all this stuff, guys, I think he's gonna be, I think he's gonna be shocked. Four different things of masking tape. They had a lot of stuff in the basement, so. Let's see if they left the same thing or what the deal is. Oh my God. Let me just. Oh my god. Jesus. Wow. Holy Jesus. Wow. It looks so different than Let go, let go. Oh my oh my god. And then all dude. Dark board, dude. This way dark. Holy wow. crap. Wait, wait a minute. This is hey, Jess. Out, they took everything from here. Literally Jesse, everything. they left the world oh, map. God. Bro, is this Oh god? Yeah. That's a freezer. Bro, is this is, there is there food in here? It's like locked. Is, is this where the bodies are? Let me try opening it real quick. You have three freezers. Oh, Bro, it's locked. Oh, yeah. This is the body freezer. It's locked. It's locked. That's a round key. Is it locked? Hey, this is how I decided on this house, actually. Need a leaf blower out here, that's for sure. What do you think, Joe? Honestly. I think it's awesome, man. I mean, you gotta do a little thing, like, you know, a little leaf blowing out here would be nice. How about I make a freaking ice cream parlor in it? I be, be cars be pumped. Nice yeah, I mean ice cream's good. But yeah. No, that was weird. That's just a little closer, but you know, I'd come yeah, out here. No, I was cream. just making a jerk there. Uh, yeah. Well, Are you they're... staying here tonight? No, definitely not. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking to me. I mean you dude, there's like yeah, Are you like so seriously living here though? Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> I don't I don't know. Like I get that it it's ours, but like it doesn't feel like it is. Yeah. Like I'm looking at the stars in the living room right now. And it's no, we, um, so when we were raiding the cabinets in there, I was like, yo, this feels wrong. Like, we should not be looting yeah. somebody's it's house. It's a little right weird now. that there's some furniture left over, there's, you know, pots and pans. It almost feels like you're, it's like a vacation house almost. Yeah. But by the end of vacation, yeah. though, you feel really comfortable. I know. There, like, with, with the, the vacation, first... like, I know it's temporary. I don't know. This is a really weird feeling to know that, like, this is it. Well, that's Look, a, this that's is the thing. The, about yeah. It, so. You'll make it your own. You yeah. know what I mean? It'll. I mean, just think about it. It's like every house has its own memories, right? Has memories from the people that lived here before. You'll make your own in this, but you got to make the house your own. Like there'll be changes that you make inside the house that'll change I guess and make this, it yours. It's such a big space. It's huge. And we it need. Is. I feel like there's nobody in it. I don't know. No, yeah. I, I. Well, there's not yet. There will be. You guys will get comfortable here. I mean, it's gonna be weird at first. I think that, like, for me, like, I feel like I would want to 
make the changes to, to make it a little bit more like I like more fitting me before I. So stay, you're not you sleeping know? here tonight. I don't no no. There so isn't any really? bed. There isn't any nah, bed. Nah, yeah, we're crashing your part. Yeah, the cable or internet yet, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I, it'd be kind of. I mean, I need TV to fall asleep. So I, I'm not staying here tonight. Honestly, you stay there. I mean, it's your, somebody, should night, somebody should stay here. I know I mean, it's, you don't it's want not, to leave it empty, do you? It's just I. Uh, it's just weird to. I mean, you don't have to stay here. That's, no, you have plenty of nights staying here. Do you think, honestly, though? That's all I'm really thinking about is, is will my dad approve? You kidding me? I'd be super proud. I mean, this house is ridiculous. Is it too ridiculous? Wasn't. No, no, no. I don't think it's no. over the top. I think it's almost like a perfect balance of not yeah. being over the top. It's not like yeah. you, you, this house was not the clout house. You know what I mean? This house was yeah, it's the not best the choice. House. It was a nice yeah. size house. Great size yard, you got privacy, it, it's everything that you guys needed. Yeah. Uh, it's just weird as I just like never lived. I mean, I've lived temporarily in other places, but I never lived outside of this. My it's one, permanent my one house. house. I, I yeah. really think that you'll get used to it after. No, you definitely will. You know, it's Poor just like, life. it's just like, you know, when I got married and, you know, away from my mom and the family and everything, even though I bought the house, right? The same house. Eventually you get used to it and you make it your own. You'd think I'd be more excited to know I'm getting out of my dad's house, you know, like but permanently. Not. And but like it's just like I don't know. It's uh, it's I lot, guess until well, he finally yeah. comes around. Yeah, that's your comfort zone. Though. Yeah, it's a lot you of know, taking. That's what you're that's, used to. Yeah, that's your, been your life your entire life. Because I didn't even know the whole height. Like when I came to get my stuff, I, he doesn't know that this is all happening, and I, I've been feeling uncomfortable saying it because I don't know if I don't know. No, man, I think of all the things you could tell him, this is one of the things that he's going to be most proud about, to be 100% honest with you. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think there's no way that he would come to this house and not be proud. No, and especially, you know, as a dad, I'd be proud about this. Two of my sons did together. Yeah. So then tomorrow we'll, we'll bring him here? Yeah. Well, it's big. that'll be the moment then. You know, did the Psycho series where it's all about the kid trying to leave dad's house, some real stuff in there. Isaac trying to leave the house, a lot of trying to escape. The escape's finally, finally happening. And tomorrow we're gonna see how my dad reacts to 26 years of living in one, one place. Granted, the last couple months have been tumultuous, but uh, it's a big deal, guys. First home, feels Feels pretty surreal. It's a bizarre experience. This is gonna be home. You got anything to add to that, Jeffrey? No. <laughs> well, all right no. then. <laughs> Many words. <laughs> guys, I guess we'll uh, shut all this stuff off and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> you got like all the doors closed on the windows. Bad the hatches. Eventually, you guys will be sensitive to the point of. Yo, shut some of those lights yeah. off. The electric bill is really turn high. Turn the light off. I don't even want to think about the money part yeah. of all this. No, I'm plugging yeah. all the refrigeration. How the heck did you have fifty thousand dollars? I'm an accountant. He lives at home. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Doing all these Thirty years. years. I mean, you got to do something. Who? Wait, what room were you gonna be in? Are you? No, no, you're be in no, no, no. You're, you're not, not sweet. No, you're not. You're looking. the. Yeah, Jesse. You're the you know, master. No, no, no. You're no, I don't want that. It's one freaking room. You get a whole house over there. You are. Uh, yeah, you, you see that bathroom? The bathroom. Yeah, that okay, bathroom. Dude, dude there's I, that, you're there's, not getting that in-law you, suite. Are you joking? You, you get a full kitchen to yourself. Who, you have this I thought you were understanding side. it's your house, so you get the master. You get this kitchen. Look at this kitchen. Wow. You the refrigerator is way better in here than the one over there. I'm going to tell you about this freezer. You got to open it and look into it. It's no. Did you see that bathroom? The fact if you that want bathroom that, looks like a grandma no. died on the toilet. If you want that, that means I want it because you clearly want it because you know it's better. Fine. I, I want this. Yeah. What do you, what you yeah. want? What? <laughs> Whatever huh? I pointed at. You guys can figure that out. I don't out. have anything to say. I mean, I don't. I'm not staying. I'm going to be where I want to be. I put my name on all those papers. You had me put my name on all those papers, dude. And my name's on there, too. I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong about this, guys? But who's no, don't you I, think I should get the... Who's out this, guy, this is brother stuff. This ain't... Yeah, dude. You guys need to work that out. That's, it's a beautiful house. We're happy for you. Don't even... I, that's mine. I already want... I've already... Alright, so I get the master, then. 
Just like that. You want the master? Okay, I get the master. Yeah, ask me. A case coming too, by the way. So. That's fine. I like her. Can we have John and Luna too? No, they're not ours. Whose yeah. are they? Luna licks her butthole, apparently. A lot. A lot. That's not, that's not sanitary. And then licks your face. Yeah, what? But I want the master. I want lots of things too. I didn't want to live with my brother, but here we are! <laughs> you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna take the master uh, from me just like that? All right, nobody's living here. Actually, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's, uh, I'm gonna move into, I'm gonna sleep on the couch and move it up into the, ma I'm gonna move, I'm sleeping here. I can't believe that you're taking the master. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's bring dad here and see what dad says tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna vent to him so hard. No, no, no. I wanna, like, let's be, like, Man. cool about it and make him see that, like, wow, you guys are really good. I can't believe I'm getting in the This is, this oh is my bull gosh. crap. All right, let's shut off the lights because, yeah, the electric bill is a real thing now. But you're on the hook for it, by the way. No, what are you talking about? You're the one that. I'm not you're paying. the borrower. You're the borrower. All right, you need to be real clear with me right now what the heck that means, because I can't pay for everything. You have to pay for everything. What? That's how it is. No, no, what are you talking about? Okay, I'll make it a little easier on you. I'll, I'll contribute to, but, but you have to make all, you're the one legally responsible for making all the payments. I just have to make sure you pay everything. So I got to write checks from my account for every bill? Yeah. What did you expect when you bought a home? I'm on the mortgage, so what are you even doing? I'm making sure you pay us. <laughs> no, I don't understand where you're, where you were involved. I, I fronted the money. You're responsible for paying everything All the back. payments. Yeah. All right, let's turn all the freaking lights off, John. I don't know how to do that. Aw, hey, Chef. Hey. 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 Uh, where's Dad? He's in his ice cream shop. The ice cream shop. Right. Hey, Dad. Hey, Jess. Got, uh... Got some pretty big news to share. Really big news, huh? What you got? We got a house. You got a house? Well, sit down and talk to me about it. Come on. Come on, take a seat. Big news for you. Yeah. Um, so why am I sitting down? Yeah, sit down. Big news to you, so I want to hear about it. Yeah, what, what do you want to know? So where is it? Like, what, you want to know the address, or? Yeah, that's fine. We're filming, so I don't really want to disclose. But there is an address, right? You heard me, right? Yeah, I just want to make no, sure there's no. an address. That we're filming this. I'm fine with filming it. Okay. Um. It's uh, it's like ten minutes from here. So it's in the county. Yeah. See. So yeah. Okay. That's so, good. How many bedrooms? It's like five or six. Five or six or six or five or you don't know or is this? I'm not making this up. Like it's a real house. I'm just I don't know if one bedroom counts. Like I don't. It could be an office. Or don't something. they all count? If you're telling a story, you gotta. I don't know if you have five or six. It's five or six. There's like an in-law suite. Is there bathrooms? Yeah, four bathrooms. That's pretty good size. That's, that sounds like it's a lot of money. Did you put it on my credit card? No. Jeffrey, Jeffrey and I are, are going in together and he- you, <laughs> you and your brother. You and your brother are gonna live together. Yeah. He put the down payment and I'm on the, I'm on the mortgage with him. Both together, living in the same house. Yeah. That's good for you guys, I like that. You happy? Yeah. Are you? I'm fine. I just want you guys to be happy. That's all I worry about. Right. 
So is it on a lot of acres, or is it like in a town? Or? Yeah, it's it's pretty big. It's six like six acres. So so it's like six acres. There's like five or six bedrooms, four bathrooms, and you guys can swing this. Yeah. You know, I, I'm I, sorry from the apprehensive, but you know, it just since I'm the last to know everything, as always. Jeffrey paid for the down payment, and we're all splitting it. Oh, okay. So has there been a settlement or have you? That already happened. So you've already went to settlement this first time here? Yeah, because I wanted, yeah. So you didn't have to have any part. It's literally done. So did you tell your mother or? I wanted to tell you first. Oh, you really wanted to tell me first? Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. I hear you're a homeowner, you and your brother. Thanks. So I guess we're telling him now. Okay. Yeah, I I mean just didn't expect it to be now. But Well I didn't expect it. But I'm glad you guys included me finally with it. Um, yeah. I'm actually loading stuff up in the trailer. So if I was actually gonna see if you can help me with the TV stand in the basement. A bunch of other crap down there too, so if you guys are able and willing no, I enjoy all that. Now. You got stuff here we can load that up too, right? Well, most of it I already, that's why I was here the other night. I moved a lot of it. But there's still stuff here that we can take. Oh, you, I mean, you didn't get rid of it? No, I didn't get rid of all of it. Oh, so, yeah. But I'm I glad to help. Yeah, I kind of want to do this now. Just daylight and stuff, so. All right, no, it's a good idea because I really want to see this house. I really want to see it. You'll see it. Watch the pinch point. Yeah. Uh, Can you get that gotta come up? Alright. That's pretty much cleared. And then one we just more need step. to get up this one step. What? We gotta get it up this stair now. Yeah, I know, but see? Yeah, we gotta get up this stair. It didn't gonna go up there. No, I'll just go to the bottom. There we go. Yo, watch the truck! Oh, okay. uh, you gotta lift higher. Though. I lift higher, you gotta lift higher. You're lifting whatever the freak that uh, is. Who broke this all completely? It's probably you and your <laughs> beer pong it's people. You. People play beer pong and like try to slam dunk. Hey, I'm really mm -hmm. proud if you're stepping up, alright? Uh, uh, I love you. Is there anything it seems else you oddly get? familiar. Uh, nah, that's about it. I think I'm pretty much set. This is just ridiculous. Is there anything you need? This is ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? That's somebody literally always a... has to bail you out, whether character or not. Character or not? No, I'm just, that's you literally a scene. You always leech upon people. I'm not leeching. He's bailing you out. I'm the one who signed half the, you don't even know half the stuff we went through it the last month. It doesn't matter. If he put the money down for the deposit, he's oh bailing you out. All As right. always, there's yeah, always somebody true, yes. bailing you out. Okay, I have everything true. I need. All so. right, let's go just look at this house. Uh, All right? Yeah. I guess, do you want to lead the way? I don't care. I could. I don't care either way. I'm gonna win because he doesn't think there's a freaking house. How does that make you? Boy, win? is he gonna be mistaken, huh? How does that mean you win? What's the win? The win is a game of life. It's the one, the one time that there's actually a real house. Is that is that a win? The one time there's actually a real house. What do you mean? I mean, think about it. Like, you like told him that you had a house in L.A. with a fake address. Yeah, it's also the first real house you have for age 30, Jeffrey. That's not true. It's the I'm, second. I'm I'm Actually, the third. It's the third. I'm only level 26, and I already, I already made it to the Citadel, bro. Was my dad insane, or is it just me? Yeah, your dad's insane. Okay, all right. Because he's reached a new level that I have not even seen before. <laughs> and Jeffrey forgot his keys in the house. He just said. And he's, ha! And I'm the little brother. Come on, loser. Oh, jeez. What do you think, man? Honestly, the house. It's good, right? It's a good house. It's a great house. I think your dad might like it. He might like it, Swift? You're supposed to be my hype guy, All right, dude. dude. He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. I just gotta sell it. I gotta be like Lisa. 
It's incredible, darling. <laughs> Are you going to be a realtor? That's what you got to be. Can you really afford this place, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> you want who is my favorite realtor, though? Oh, Aaron. come on. Bro, dude, you're just seriously dude. breaking bro code. Wait, oh, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey's coming. Oh, dang, dude. Why is he whipping in like that? Dude. Kicking up all this dust in the... You're kicking up a dust storm, Wait, bro. what exactly did you tell him? What did I tell him? Yeah, what did you I, tell him? I told him it's our house. You put the down payment. You kick up all this dust, bro. You're so going to have a dust storm what? coming on the house. So you basically told him everything then, didn't you? I don't know what else there is to tell. I mean, I am he hasn't seen the house. But he knows that we're going in it together. He knows, I think he knows that Swift's living here and that we already closed on it. Okay. Here he comes. That was one of those surveilling drive-ins. Well, can we just try and sell it as best as we can here? Like we're realtors. Like we don't need to. Like, like, no, we do, dude. So yeah, this is uh, this is it. So whose house is it really? It's our house. Jeffrey Swift. and I's. It's like Swift's grandparents or something. You're borrowing it? Oh, sir, they, they actually bought it. Swift's dead. Swift tried yeah. to resuscitate her. She died in his arms. Can we just not talk about that, please? Yeah, my bad, bro. It's only about like six acres. Like about 5,000-ish square feet. Looks a lot like ours. Yep. Which is nice, right? It looks nice. Well, what do you get a look at the inside? Yeah, Jeffrey said it's on six acres, so I mean how how many how many acres is the house at home? Three and a half. Pretty sure he added like one and a half acres onto that thing. Isn't it two? Three and a half. I thought it was two acres. No, it's three and a half. Alright, well this is six. So again, who's letting you use it? It's out. Are you serious? Are yeah, you I'm serious. Show you the settlement document. Who Does somebody know we live here now? Are you alright? Are you ready to come in? or we, we, we know that it needs to be pressure washed, but... Then the gutters need clean. Alright, well... Yeah, we're, we're rolling it. See, look. I... On my keychain, going into the door, unlocking the door to our house. Well, again, anybody can give you a key. Yo, what is all this? Oh, I, I left notes. What? I left notes on things. Are you kidding me? I like claimed them. Claimed what? What the heck is this? All right, just ignore the notes. I don't know what that is. That's something. So yeah, this is um, this is what's known as an M-Wall suite. See, somebody lives here. Huh? Somebody lives here already. Yeah, us. The owners left all this furniture. That's my little tool kit. The owners left everything, huh? Yeah. I know the tool kit. The, the, look, it's a full kitchen. This is for anyone can stay here. There's two bedrooms back here. It's a full. The full thing. Full bath. A lot of nail holes. I yeah, I didn't spackle the living. Yeah, room and they there. had a lot of decorations hanging up, which are now gone because they left because they sold the house. And they left all their furniture. Right, because I told them it was my first house and that we needed stuff because we don't have stuff because we didn't. So, right, so this Seems is very the elaborate. Suite. Very elaborate. Is this something to like prank me or something? Why um, would we go to. If you want to see the rest of the house to see. That's just 
why would, yeah, yeah, why would we be making like changes? See, that's what I want to ask. Somebody to ask. So this is the full actual house here. Do you want a water? No. Why is Jeffrey on here? Uh, it's you put stuff on the freaking refrigerator items? Yeah. Listen, mine. You literally. What? You can't claim furniture, dude. This is just. Yeah. This is not part of any elaborate prank. This, I don't know what he's doing, but this is the living room. So. Yeah, it's a living room. Do you still not think this is the house? There was a dog here. If you don't believe me, we have history. What is history? What? Why I may not believe you. Well, this is all my stuff, so. And I do recognize this stuff. But you could have rented the house. For what purpose? That's what I'm trying to find out or figure out. You have the documents. He has the paperwork. If you really want to be that ridiculous, like we have. He all has the documents. Yes, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen them, so. I'm gonna show you my bank statements and show you the down payment coming out. It's just very hard to believe. Very well, hard to believe. If you don't believe in stuff, you're probably not gonna ever feel anything. See, like if I was renting a place, I probably wouldn't bring my YouTube play button just for a week. Just a week? Huh? Just a week? You don't rent for a week. You rent for months at a time. Well, even if that was the case, aren't we out of the house? Aren't I living on my own at that point? But so if they, they left all their furniture, why are these rooms empty other than your stuff in that room? What? Why didn't they leave the rest of their furniture? If that conveniently left that There was that some room, stuff I didn't want. Oh. Okay. Did you already talk to the electric company? Get the electric company to change well, it over to you? I well, I know it works. Guess what, Dad? It's our house. So, we'll figure it out. What the hell is this? Kiss Jeffrey? Yeah. Why? What do you mean? <laughs> Why is that even necessary? You want me to kiss you? Is that what this implies? It says Jeffrey's. So, you, so you want me to kiss Jeffries? I don't know, you got three in the room. So why would you guys put this stuff on the wall? Sorry. This, this was there. This is what they're, this is my room. This is a master bedroom. That'll be mine. My own place. So you got your own spot? Yes. Is there more to see? There's the master bathroom. Oh, there's a master bathroom. What the heck are you doing in my bathroom? What do you mean? You have something on it. You have something on the toilets. Jeffrey's toilet. Uh, Jeffrey's shower. I call it Master John. And neither one of you ever lifted a finger to help around our house. Oh, and you're going to be able to do it's not, this house. Because it's not ours. It's kind of big. Yeah? What's the point? The point is, it's kind of big. So you guys can really afford this. Mm -hmm. It's a YouTube house. So there's going to be YouTube videos being filmed that here. That means nothing to me. Can you afford right, exactly. it? Exactly. It means nothing to you. And that's why we came here. And we can do it. And when we can film more because we're allowed to film more in our own space, then we'll make more money. Is this going to happen after six months? You guys are going to go belly up and you won't be able to afford it? Hmm? No. Right, Jess? A year? No, we're going to make it work. Yeah, we sure are. All right, see the rest of it. I mean, you're pretty much seeing all of it. There's three other bedrooms here. So it's gonna have one of these. Seems to be they're all Jeffries by the tags. Yeah, because that's everybody's freaking name. <laughs> There's another bathroom here. 
It's all pretty much the same bedroom because it's a house. How are you getting the stains out of the carpets? I've seen quite a few of them. The, I could care less. Run a Stanley steamer from Lowe's. Hmm. That'll probably, what do you think, Swift? So that's yours? Something happened Possibly. in here? What do you mean? Looks like something a dog did. Uh, no, it's a acrylic paint. It looks I like mean, acrylic dog crap to me. It was landscape stuff. A lot of, a lot of browns really and dog crap. yellows and seems like a lot of stuff being made up here, so I figure I could too. The art room, acrylic dog crap. But I went on my house hunt. Oh, you went on a house hunt? Yeah, when I went on my house hunt, which if you watched my videos on YouTube, you could have seen the whole entire process because I filmed it all, and then you would have seen that I need. A basement. I have more important things to do to sit around and watch videos. Well, he's gonna be impressed with us. Yeah. There's no way you can. Let's swift uh, get the lights. Let's swift get the lights for you. Sorry. So, uh, you know anything about your electrical service? It's 2,200 square foot. Your electrical services? The big open basement space that you're in is 2,200 square foot. No, I'm asking about electrical service. So if, and I'm if your saying, lights go out. And I'm have... saying that this space is 2,200 square feet. That's beautiful. It's just a basement to me. Do you understand what I'm getting at? Do you understand your electrical service? Dad, I could care less. What happens when your lights go out? We'll figure it out. Will you? Yeah. Because I know what's going to happen. We, oh, yeah, what's that? We have a backup generator. We have a backup generator, so we don't need to worry about that. Well, that's convenient if the power goes out, but what happens if your lights go out in certain areas? What do you do? We figure it out. Check oh, the breaker. okay. Which I think they're... Pretty lip mosh labeled. Yep, see? Okay. We have all the breakers identified. Good. But it's a big open space. Look at all this space. It's just an open space. That we can do anything in. What do you think? I still can't think. I, I just don't think you can afford it. Even both of you together. Well, we are. And we will. We already covered the first month, which buys us 30 whole days to make 30 videos, which will make money because our fans are awesome, because they actually watch the content that we make because they care about us. Fans are impressed with the house. Well, good for the fans. But again, I was the last to know about it, so... I guess the fans know about it ahead of me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Worry about the fans. Steel lolly columns. Did somebody have a dark fetish? A dark fetish? Yeah, it seems it's like just they're all It's just in the house. I don't know. Why are you being so critical? They also have proposed and arrows too. Mm -hmm. None of mine. You haven't said one thing that's like really like. How am I supposed to act? I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to force anything. I'm just saying, like, wow. Because I know what's going to happen is every time something goes wrong, I'm going to be called to fix it or take care of it. And it's just so big that the, only the three of you will be occupying this house. For now. I just, for now. For now. Okay. So you have other plans? I don't know yet. It's life. You figure it out, right? So you're going to take care of all the issues. You and your brother are going to take care of everything in this house 
I don't. I can't tell if you want to be called or not. Is it because you expect it, or is it because you actually want it? I want to take care of things. That's what I do. So if you need me, you call me. But you guys got to perform things on your own, also. That's the goal here. In an emergency, you got to take care of things. It's all us. So. It is all you. So that's the house. What's up with the freezers? I don't know. He's a hunter. There's freezers here. He meaning the owner? The former owner. What, do you want them for your freaking ice cream parlor? No, I don't need it. I have a freezer. All right. I already took care of that. What are you already? That's all about planning. I'm asking what those freezers are still here for, and you said he's a hunter. So does he still own the house, or do? No. No. Or was he an owner? Do you own your ice cream parlor? Used to hunt. Used to I fish. own my ice cream parlor because you're going to be getting the bill at the end All right, of the well, month. you didn't hear me asking 100 questions about it because I didn't believe that you built one. I clearly saw it with my own eyes, and now you see this out with your own eyes, and we wouldn't take But, it. Jess, if you think about it, the past dictates the future, correct? No, actually, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's not always the case. Past does not always indicate the future. It doesn't? No. History doesn't always repeat itself. So it can, you, but it so doesn't you're always. So you're lying to numerous times, your credit is used, your car is taken, okay. does it dictate and the future? Okay, and when a car is taken sometimes, there's a breakthrough because when something really scary or traumatic happens, sometimes people change. I hope they do. But when you almost run over your father in the driveway because you're hell-bent to get it out, and now all of a sudden you've changed? Yeah, because it's a wake-up call. I hope you have a wake-up call. And I hope you learn from it. And I hope you both learn from this. He seems like he likes it. He seems like it. He seems like he's dead inside. I couldn't. Swift, did you get anything of that at all? What did the camera read? Did I see. I couldn't read him. Or, huh? I don't know, dude. Your dad's just like weird still. He's got to come to terms with this. He's in the bathroom. Where he just flushed the Tessa. He probably flushed the Tessa. And he took an acrylic human sh in it. What'd you want me to say? That the room was covered in doll crap? No, I was, that's what I was saying. We had to try and sell it. I mean, I... Yeah. Oh, what, do this, what do you call all this, What do you call this crap, huh? What is all this? Jeffrey's stuff? It's all Jeffrey's stuff? Jeffrey's stuff. That's the last it. thing we need to be doing is fighting when he's here to... to, to I didn't know he was coming. I was waiting for you to see it. Right. As a prank, right? To show that we haven't learned it. I mean, it's littering. Well, they're all over the place. You're gonna be for a while. I'm sure he's not like creeping our ground. I'm gonna open up the building's door. Alright. Yep, this leads right out to the front. And then yeah, we got some front patio furniture turn things. Dude, you got one freaking front door? Yeah. That looks good. Pitcher's mound right over there, too. It's a nice little softball. Yep. Yeah, and then there's a plate down there so that we can put a little throw back yep. in there. Full. That looks nice. Oh my god. What? I said it looks nice. It looks nice. Okay. What do you want? It does. What do I want? Do you know how much, how hard would it be just to say something good? I did. I how, said no, it's nice. No, a nice is not enough, Dad. I mean, Jeffrey, we literally just got a house. Not and I, I'm just like it's been year after year of just like I feel like there's what like what do you, what do you want? Do you wish it was uh, Muhammad Ali's mansion per se? Do you wish it was a multi-million dollar thing? Like what's it gonna what's it gonna take to impress you? What do you want from me for this? I'm telling you, it's that, nice. I'm literally over. I I feel like I was just at Mike's house two months ago. He lost his dad. And how hard was it for him to try and get his dad to just literally? Show him something to show him that wow. I I'm came proud out of here Didn't I I came here. I helped you unload the stuff. 
That's not, I just mean. I've been hurt too many times over these years. I don't, I mean just to be proud of me for once. How hard is it just to do that? Or does it kill you that you're just like wrong or just like, I don't know that you don't. You... I don't know how to show emotion. So I don't know what you want from me. You're showing emotion. I'm doing the best I can. You've hurt me so many times and, and your mother. What do you what do you expect from us? I expect something. I mean, back me up here. This is your this is him this too. This is a great house. Is that what you want me to tell you to yeah, great house? Yeah, that. I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of you. Do you understand you guys are leaving? 30 years. 30 years. 26 years you've been in this family. And now you're gone. It's only 10 minutes away. I understand that, but you're gone. We've been a family for how long? And now you're bailing. You're gone. You're moving on to your own lives. And I understand that, but it, it doesn't make it any better. So I conceal my feelings. Can you understand that? That's I'm proud really. of you. Hey. I love you, and you did a great job here. I love it, you. It's great. Come on, stand up. I stand up. very proud of you I never expected it I really didn't but I am I'm very proud of you and I love you dearly I'm too dad I um. and it is a beautiful house thanks it's just hard for yeah. me to let go yeah that's your mother and I are only around the corner too if you need anything all right yeah, that's all I've really just... I don't want to force that, I, you know. I do mean it. Thanks. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Alright, I mean... I love you guys. Love you too. I've never seen him show emotion like that. Yeah, I mean... That's that's what I'll, that's a win. See, I didn't need Ali's mansion, dude. So uh, now by I By the like way, I want the key. key. Key for what? Key to the house. Do you remember the eviction notice you signed? I get full access. Yeah. Okay. I know that was a thing in the past, but I no, mean, it's we the it's the past now and the future. I want the key. You have the, I mean, you have the key, a, a key that, I mean, my I key. I see your keys, you have extra keys. I want it. It's official, you signed it. All right? You're serious. I am very serious. I mean, you understand that, like. I understand I, that we had an agreement. Yeah, Dad, but, like. This is our YouTube house. Like, there's gonna be cameras and like, I mean, I don't know. And at any given time, I can show up. Any given time, I can come in. It's my house too. What? Is, it didn't say that, no. did it? If I have the key, it's partly mine. You signed it. Remember, if I don't agree with something, there's hell to pay. What just happened? I knew I should have sent that f***ing paper, dude. So what does that mean, Jeffrey? Why are you asking me? I don't know. So what, he's gonna come in late at night and say, Oh, Jess, you got your feet on the coffee table. Get him off. Or he's gonna be like, eh, No filming it. I don't know, maybe he's just gonna like, pop in, like, I don't know, like grandparents do. We like, had him! We had him! I don't... I don't know. I thought this shit was done. Maybe we should have told him. Maybe you... No! You, you know what you should have done? Maybe you should have put a sticky note on the f key. Yeah! 
It's Jeffrey's key. So then he. Right. Me That's his name too. Yeah. Yeah. So it didn't really do much, did it? I'm building an ice cream parlor in the basement. I'm gonna compete with his shop. Your what? My suite. You're not getting the in-law suite. I'm already moved in. I know. I might be moved into the master, but I want you can't just close the door and act like that's all Jeffries. Did he just point with his middle? Yep. Oh, you just walk in here. No, are you kidding me, bro? Oh, Juggies, here we go. You guys ready for this? First off, I just want to thank you guys for tuning into the full video. Let me know, drop some likes, let me know in the comments if you guys like the, the longer format and uh, I'll give you guys some longer videos. Also, if you just like when we have these real talk moments, because I love these. I've had a few days to process uh, my dad coming here and uh, for my dad to actually cry or get emotional is a pretty big deal and for me, just my whole life trying to make him proud or impress him in some capacity or just trying, I guess, I, it gets a little competitive with me and Jeffrey to try and outshine Jeffrey or at least look good in my dad's eyes. I feel like I finally got a win. As I finally come to terms with moving out of my family's house, like I literally lived there for 26 years. Uh, I'm definitely a homebody, so to be out of the house uh, is just different. But I had a really interesting life moment uh, yesterday. I was clearing out my closet and moving everything upstairs into my new closet, and I came across these old shirts. One was a shirt that I wore at Voros Plumbing, which is where I used to work before I was full-time at YouTube. I was literally the shop I worked in this crummy place for a year and I was miserable. Following that, I found a dress shirt from when I used to work at the bank as a bank teller. When I saw these shirts, guys, I immediately was hit with nostalgia and feelings of, wow, I feel bad for Jesse in the past, like maybe six or seven years ago, how I was really down on myself and I was insecure and weak and really I wasn't living my own life. My own life would have been to create videos, to create content, to, to Twitch stream or Justin.tv at the time. Basically the things I'm passionate about. However, I let my parents dictate my life and what they thought was best for me, which really wasn't the case. Also, I didn't want and or need money and that's still me to this day. I remember I felt so weak and just purposeless when I was working at the plumbing shop in the bank and the biggest takeaway for me was that like, I could do better. And, and I don't want to shit on people that are, say work in retail or fast food or these minimum wage jobs because I worked at them too. But 90% of these jobs, if not more, are going to be automated. If you feel like when you go to work that you are not doing anything, that you are not maximizing your potential, that you are not providing as much value as you think as a person you can provide for people in the world, then you're going to feel like a piece of crap. So I don't think that it was a level of entitlement for me to be like uh, miserable at these jobs. I think it's just genuinely you can do better and I knew I could too and I knew I wasn't living my actual truth which I knew my value would be to provide insight and comedy and entertainment to you guys. So anyway, the point of this little story is the fact that right now I find myself hitting that same wall that I hit when I was working at the bank till I eventually quit. I've known for a while now that I'm not living my truth. Before, I was not living for myself. I was living to impress my parents, I was living for my friends and the idea of money. And right now, I find myself not living for me again. Honestly, over the last couple years, I've continued to make content mainly for you guys at, at, at the risk of my health, my sanity, mental health, and I don't want to say creative burnout because it's not really the case. The answer for me lies in something different. It's that same feeling at the plumbing shop and the bank. My motivation is not right because I didn't care about those things. But I do care about making content. So now when I say that I've been living my life recently based off others' opinions, mainly you guys wanting to make content for you guys even though I might not want to make content is because I think I realize not only is it the type of content, but it's the mother platform. I am done with YouTube. I have uh, mounted so much data over the last few years of how corporate and bullshit the company is. I will always thank and love my father for getting me to this place, but now that I'm no longer under his roof, 
I can't help but apply that same stuff to YouTube. YouTube made me and I wouldn't be anywhere without the platform. However, just like my father, I know when things have gotten a little out of control or where I don't agree with some of the ways he's doing things. And much like I've had some bad parenting and I've also had some bad bosses in my lifetime, I get to a point where I'm like, you know what? My motivation is weaning because I know I can build something greater. I know my true value is being inhibited and that if I had the opportunity, I can make something better and bigger. So if you've indulged me into this much of the video, I'm clearly talking about Storyfire. That's right. The platform and the application and website that Brian Spitz and I have been building over the last two years, we have insane updates and announcements coming over the next few months and I will actually be uploading to Storyfire once again. I'll be uploading all content to Storyfire, except for maybe one to two bigger videos coming out on YouTube. Because what I've realized, I know how the algorithm works, I know how the system works. The fact that we're gaining a few thousand subscribers now, suddenly, when I stopped uploading, is so ludicrous. I'm not ready to pull the curtain just yet with everything I've learned over the years. Check out Storyfire, download those links in the description, and you'll still get big, awesome videos on YouTube, but you'll get exclusive content to Storyfire, guys. Big things are coming. I very much like to look at the big picture of life and where the world and society and our culture is heading and it's quite clear to me that me and all my YouTube friends right now, we work for robots. And I'm not even making that up. We literally work for artificial intelligence and data mining algorithms. <laughs> and the implications of this are, is that you think it's bad now, in five years when we're all working for them, or our jobs are replaced by them, we're gonna wish that we made a change before all this. So, crazy conspiracy Jesse's coming out. No, on a real note guys, this is serious stuff. And Storyfire, we are the rebellion. We are for the creator, we are for the people. You're gonna start to see a lot more things happening with Storyfire. I've bit my tongue for far too long. Download Storyfire, Twitch streaming's coming back, all kinds of content coming out on both YouTube and Storyfire, but guys, trust me, you wanna start jumping the Titanic onto the Storyfire life rap because this corporate crap is heading towards a giant iceberg. Mark my flippin' words. Any you guys, I can't wait to converse with you guys more. Let me know your thoughts on this video. If you want to see more like this, you want to see them shorter, you want to see them more frequently, even thoughts on Storyfire and things you want to see improve because we want to take your feedback into consideration. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, Jays. Thank you, guys. It's the end of an era. There might not be uh, uploads right away just as we're still finishing the move in. Jeffrey, I don't know where he's at and Swift's moving in this week, but uh, I, I really feel at peace and I'm really happy and uh, I'm excited for the future. I hope you guys are too. All right, Jays, love you on to death. And also, if you want to live in the Ridge Studios gaming house, hit me up. Maybe we can let you stay in one of the six bedrooms or the basement. Don't forget to keep it rigid and stay lit. Oh, and I know I talked a lot about me here and all the stuff going on, but I hope you apply this to yourself and your life. I'm dead serious. I'm going to start being a hero for you guys. I want to start being motivational and giving you the real stuff, like the, the, the real deal. Like, like, I want you guys to really, truly look at yourself, look at what you want, forget about the other opinions and influences, and start living your life and your truth because you're going to waste your time doing anything else. Follow my lead. And let's kick Love you guys. <sighs> Forgot to add, guys. You, know, you all know how the Sega series ends. Eventually, you just can't take it anymore without your dad's running the show. So you eventually pull the trigger and shoot him. And then you flee the country. The takeaway here is that I'm kind of done with my boss. Growing these platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Time to grow my own platform. Time to start being serious. So I'll tell you right now, these corporate entities don't have our best interests at heart, my friends. All they care about is the bottom line. It's time. It's time to fight the good fight, Jaggies. Hope you join me.